Hello food fans, we're going to have a mix of main courses here today. We're going to have some macaroni and cheese, 58 cents, and this is a can, a five ounce can of tuna, which is about a dollar per can now, so it's a low cost meal. And we're going to mix some uh, different foods together that we haven't mixed together before, so let's get started. I am going to bring the water back to a boil after having taken the lid off the uh, pot that we will be cooking the macaroni in, that we are cooking the macaroni in. The macaroni will cook for about 10 minutes and uh, then we will add the cheese that, that comes with the macaroni and we will have the macaroni all ready to eat but there is more, there is more. I am mixing the tuna uh, drain the water off the tuna and I'm, uh, I already have added uh, mayonnaise to that that's uh, about two heaping teaspoons or two he heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise with the tuna plus two heaping teaspoons of relish in there and what will that be we shall see in a few minutes And the food looks good, smells good, and it's going to taste good. And I've still got some secret stuff here to show you. Um, this is probably about $5 per serving. Uh, so this would be enough um, actually for two people because we have toast. Got two slices of whole wheat toast. And I've got the macaroni and cheese here. I've got my salad here. This is my regular cabbage and carrot salad. I don't have any tomatoes today. But what I will do is show you the tuna. I've made it into a basically like a tuna salad. There. And that's uh, tuna. Drain the water off add uh, two heaping tablespoons full of mayonnaise and uh, stir it all up nicely. You can make a tuna salad sandwich out of that and also I can mix the tuna and mayonnaise and the uh, relish that's in there. I've got about uh, two teaspoons full of relish. I can mix that all together with macaroni and cheese. It all mixes together quite well, but I'm going to put some tuna salad on the whole wheat toast first and I will just eat it sort of as an open face sandwich. Hope all is going well for you. We're having good weather here today and uh, I like it that way. I think we've still got quite a few freezing nights before spring arrives but uh, we're certainly having better weather than, weather, weather than most people put that right there and as I say an open face sandwich mmm mmm -hmm. tuna salad sandwich I remember you can serve a couple of people with this or if you're a person who likes to eat a lot of food this is a good choice and it's low cost and has some nutritional value. Let me get uh, some salad here before we start on the main course of macaroni and cheese. My cabbage salad today minus the tomato, I don't have any tomatoes to put on it, but this is a very good salad. Very crunchy. And check the internet 
certainly if it's on the internet it has to be true, right? If you uh, study cabbage, see what they say about it, chances are it's pretty good. Cabbage is probably good for you, but I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving any medical advice here. Choo-choo train. Another long, then a short, then a long. And when the train whistle stops, the train should be right about in the middle of the intersection where the gates are down. When I was a kid, that same sound meant a steam engine was going by. This is very good low-cost macaroni and cheese. 58 cents for a 7 ounce package. I did add some uh, vegetable oil to the macaroni and cheese. I don't use the butter or margarine. I would use it once in a while if I wanted to, but uh, I don't think I bought margarine or butter in the last couple of years. Having one of my houses fixed up and uh, Probably this weekend I will do a piano tutorial. <coughs> piano tutorial for people who uh, want to learn how to play piano and want to do it right away. The whole wheat bread is uh, about two and a half dollars per loaf for the house brand. Probably about twenty cents per slice. piano. I'll have either a piano or a keyboard inside the house this weekend. And I'll show the basics of how to play piano chords. This is Bart's root beer. 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 And I like their root beer. More macaroni and cheese. A 
who's your favorite comic? There are a lot of uh, really good comics, including old time comics and uh, new comics. Uh, Mitch Hedberg was quite good, but uh, he's no longer with us. Of the old time comics, the most brilliant, I think, was Professor Backwards. There's probably only a couple of uh, videos of him at YouTube. Professor Backwards wrote upside down and backwards, sideways. Salad tastes like it should be healthy. whole wheat toast with a tuna salad, just tuna, mayonnaise, and relish. We'll have Screen Actors Guild Awards this weekend, the 24th, I think. There's a colorful combination. We got macaroni and cheese over here with some salad. I got tuna and whole wheat toast. Other current comics that I find funny. Emo Phillips, Garth, uh, Stephen Wright, If you're thinking about getting into show business, by all means, do it. It's hard to figure out a way of doing it, but you will probably figure out a way that has never been tried before. Radio is a good place to start. Radio stations definitely need people on holidays, weekends. They have college radio stations here and there.
I was on <coughs> one college. I was on one college station back early 1990s. I had been on commercial stations before and after that. Root beer. <coughs> Root beer time. Tennessee this year so far has had lots and lots of storms that have uh, uprooted trees and some trees managed to fall onto houses or cars. Get this out of here. fortunate to have uh, access to tasty, reasonably low-cost food. Some foods are becoming quite expensive. But, uh, there are some bargains out there. A little bit of this tuna salad sandwich. Macaroni and cheese. Piano keyboards are low cost and they do a lot besides just make the tone that you strike when you hit a piano key. A lot of piano keyboards have a built-in choice of rhythms, accompaniment styles, and they're lightweight. You can pick them up and carry them up a flight of stairs if you need to. Logical musical instrument. It's basically a math teacher. If you play one note, 
and it uh, sounds wrong, you go to the right or you go to the left. If you go to the right, you get a higher pitch, and then to the left, you get a lower. Piano's a good instrument to find out what key is your best key for each song. And in my videos I'll be using public domain songs and originals so that I don't get copyright strikes. But whatever you learn in any lesson, the mere fact that you learned it on a public domain song doesn't mean you can't use it for um, rock and roll, country, popular, whatever kind of song that you like to sing, they all need to be played with some chords. It is possible to make a lot of money in music. The thing that uh, makes a show business person a billionaire is if that person owns the rights to whatever artistic uh, activity he is uh, involved in. For example, the Seinfeld show Jerry Seinfeld could have made a lot of money with the show just working as an actor, but since he owns the show, he made a lot more money. Seinfeld and Oprah zipped through the billionaire status long ago. YouTubers can make a lot of money. The secret of YouTube is find out what the people want and give it to them. If you just do these show for uh, family members or happy birthday parties or something you probably won't get a lot of views more tuna salad here tuna salad's gone The salad, the regular salad is gone.
Root beer. You can also get into show business starting at the top and working your way down. If you want to be a stand-up comic, start a an open mic show somewhere for stand-up comics. And you produce the show and that automatically gets you into the spotlight as a comic. help if you're funny. Another talent that's associated with comedy is magic. If you can do some magic tricks while you're saying funny things, that might be your ticket to show business success. And it's time for the secret dessert, which is cherry pie plus two marshmallows. Let me see how do I open this now? Right here. <clears throat> And the pie is 84 cents. And cherry pie is quite good. Take a bite of the marshmallow. And uh, the flaky crust responds to the spoon. And they have cherries in here. Mmm. It's a good little dessert. YouTube is a good place to start a show business career. I'm sure there are other sites that uh, can be helpful.
good cherry pie. I'm glad you could stop by today. Hope, hope your car is running good. Do drive carefully, especially if you live in a place where there's snow on the road. And thank you for watching.